Life, a frightening scene. A pickup truck over there on the left hits a detached trailer, then rolls on I-29 in Council Bluffs this morning. Look closely. Another car then hit the same trailer. Both drivers were able to walk away. Investigators point out they were wearing their seatbelts. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Lindsay Thies. Jen is off tonight. However, despite what you just saw there, the latest numbers show that far too many people are ignoring that lesson to buckle up. Reporter Nick Starling's live with a look at the renewed push to get people to do just that. Hey, Nick. Hey there, Lindsay. Craig, it's such an easy thing to do, putting on your seatbelt before you have to take off for the day. But the latest stats show that the overwhelming majority of people who died in those crashes weren't wearing a seatbelt. Stunning video from an Uber driver around 6 o'clock this morning showing a trailer becoming unhitched and then was struck by another vehicle which then rolled over onto the median on Interstate 29 in Council Bluffs. Police say the driver only suffered minor cuts and bruises because he was wearing a seatbelt. I think especially in a rollover situation like this morning, the seatbelt kept the passengers in the vehicle where the safety structure is built around them. But not everyone is doing that simple click. According to the Nebraska State Patrol, 18 people died on the roads in February, 14 of them not wearing their seatbelts. If they wear their seatbelt, they'll save their life. These figures frustrate safety advocates like National Safety Council of Nebraska President Eric Kepi. The number of people not wearing their seatbelts that are dying in crashes is very concerning. Kepi says there's about a 50% reduction in deadly injuries if you just buckle up. He says teenagers are the number one age group not using seatbelts. Kepi wants lawmakers to take action by making not buckling up a primary offense, meaning police can pull you over if they see you aren't wearing one. We believe uh, a change in the law to primary enforcement would make a big difference in getting us to the uh, national average. Now, there's been multiple attempts to get a bill through the Nebraska legislature. However, every year it either fails or doesn't get out of committee. Now, we have the Iowa numbers. Just go to our website, 3newsnow.com, if you want to check them out. Reporting live in Omaha, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.